<laughs> Good morning, everybody. It's 740 right now. Welcome back to Iowa Live. Lou and Jackie here. And boy, a familiar face and voice joining us at the desk right now from the formerly from the Polk County Sheriff's Office now with AARP, Neil Schultz. How are you, my friend? Good morning, Lou. Good to see you guys Good again. To see Good you. to be with you. Good and to see you. You also brought the uh, Iowa Communications Director of AARP, Julie Betts, along with you. And we're here to talk about some things that is really ga gathering a lot of attention lately, Neil. And we're talking about the cost of drugs and prescription drugs in particular here in the state of Iowa. And it's a huge issue. And it's not just an issue with, with seniors. But, you know, the children take medicine, uh, prescription medicine. Anybody of any age does. And even if you don't take prescription medicine for anything, the cost is still being shared by you because it's being passed on to you through your insurance company and your insurance premiums. Right. So it's a big deal. Now, this is something I saw you at the Iowa State Fair. Mm -hmm. uh, you guys had a booth set up and you were trying to reach the masses uh, with this message. Remind us, why is ARP so interested when it comes to prescription drug prices? Well, as Neil said, it impacts everyone. So not just seniors, but all uh, Iowans and everyone across America. And Americans pay more for their prescription drug medication than any other country in the world. World. And um, it's just, as we're hearing stories from people and the stories are coming in, they're talking about needing to take a second job in order to afford their medications, having to choose between uh, the, their quality of life and doing things they love and paying for life-saving medications. And AARP really feels that uh, it just isn't right that someone have to, should have to choose between paying for groceries and um, paying for the medicines that really impact the quality of Let their alone life. when you're starting to get older and when you have to take a second job just to pay for your medications medications and I believe we have somebody here talking about uh, some of the struggles that go along with all these excessive expenses when it comes to prescription drugs. Take a look. Okay, 10 years ago I wasn't on any prescriptions whatsoever and the due to pre and post transplant, kidney transplant, I be, uh, became insulin dependent, seven shots a day and 32 pills uh, for anti-rejection. Uh, over the last three to five years the cost of these prescriptions has, has increased dramatically. Uh, in fact, I just got a $500 a month increase just recently. Okay, because of uh, the recent increase in cost, I've taken on another part-time job to cover that cost. Um, if, if I wasn't working and capable of working, I would not be able to get those anti-rejection drugs and that result in failure of the kidney. I think anybody that is dependent on prescriptions, um, is, the cost is, is it's cost prohibitive sometimes. And if, if they aren't capable of working, I don't know what they're going to do. I, I think the response for the, the higher cost is the pharmaceuticals and uh, not offering some of the generic drugs on, on, on some of the particular uh, pills that we need. I am so grateful that ARP is getting involved with this because there's more seniors that are dependent on the prescriptions than any other age group. Wow, how about that? 500 bucks in a month jumps up for anti-rejection drugs. Yeah, it can eat up uh, your budget in a hurry. And these are things that maybe in a lot of cases aren't even optional with people. They have to have them. Mm -hmm. Like that one, for and example. Exactly yeah. right there. So you, you heard that testimonial and you saw he was at the Capitol also when you were at the Iowa State Fair. You were asking people to share their stories. Well, why? Why are people, why is it important for people to share their stories? Well, you can see all the statistics and you can read it, all the things, you can hear all the politi uh, political talk about it, but when you hear people share about um, having to take a second job or making a decision whether I have dinner tonight or, or I pay for my prescription, that really brings it home. Mm -hmm. Make, it personalizes everything and you realize maybe how many people this affects, as you mentioned, all ages, really everybody. Well, and even right you saw us at the Iowa State Fair yeah. and we were collecting stories then and we had about uh, 3,000 people who went ahead and took that extra step of sharing their story with really? us. Really? And it wasn't just a quick, you know, that's not just a quick thing to do at the fair, right? You have to type in the, the story. And they went ahead and they typed those things in. And we were here, we're hearing from people about um, many people whose costs are over $10,000 a year just for the prescription medications. And that's out of pocket. Um, families um, who are trying to afford uh, prescriptions for multiple members of the family, single parents, uh, um, people who are taking care of their their parents mm -hmm. um, right. and really 
really concerned about making sure that they get that medication. Um, a lot of concern about the cost of insulin. Uh, in um, the AARP Public Policy Institute recently released some statistics, which are not the not that thing that really tells the story like Neil was saying, but in 2016 they found that 23% uh, of Iowans, um, they stopped taking a medication or reduced their dosage just based on the cost. Really? That's it. almost a quarter. 23%. Yeah. Yeah. They couldn't afford and it. it wow. Some of the costs of these drugs have, have gone up, they've skyrocketed, even when they, they have no competition, or maybe they have a generic equivalent, but nobody else is making them. I just got my first of two shingle shots. There's a, a new one out. It's a two-part thing. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get up a long time before, you have to worry about it mm -hmm. a little bit. Mm -hmm. uh, and even longer for you. But mm -hmm. About um, a year. Yeah. <laughs> We went out and, and we got the first of the two part and it was almost $200 out of pocket and that's just for the first one. The second one is probably going to be at least that much. There's one company that makes it. No way. So they can charge whatever they want. So they, they have want. the monopoly on it. Yeah, they do. All right, so, so what is AARP doing to, to help you know correct this? Because this is a, a travesty, it really is. When, when you're making people make a decision whether or not you're going to eat uh, or not, or take your medication and live with some the, the anti-rejection medication. That just blows me away. It's not an optional. It's not an option. No, it's, it's not yeah. like uh, I, well, okay, maybe I won't take an aspirin because I have a headache. I'll fight it off. You can't. You, some of the stuff you just absolutely have to have it. So what can what can AARP do? Well, Senator Chuck Grassley is is leading a, a bipartisan charge right now in Washington D.C. to address some of this stuff, um, and we're really hoping that that uh, the politicians are going to come together and realize this is a nation nationwide problem, and it really hits home for people. So are we asking for more stories like we heard here this morning and ones you've collected uh, at the fair and beyond? W what can we do now to help with this? We absolutely would love to hear from more people and really um, lift up those stories. And especially when we're talking about impacting our lawmakers and they they want to hear from Iowans. They, they, the, those stories um, are the ones that sometimes can make the difference. And uh, like Neil said, all the statistics you ever wanted, you know, we've got a 68% increase in a cancer drug and a 62 percent per year increase in an insulin drug all of those statistics they're just they're just words on a page compared to uh, the compelling case of an Iowan who is just truly their lives are just being their quality of life is being diminished because of this high cost. the story is gonna have a bigger impact than numbers on a page yes yes okay okay and so how can we share those stories please go to our website so the ARP Iowa website is www.aa rp.org mm -hmm. slash IA okay. and you can click on share your prescription drug story and you can there's a form that you can fill out and just let us know um, let us know how the high cost of prescription drugs have impacted your family your life the people that you love. But the catch is we have to uh, communicate with the politicians in order to get these things changed. Absolutely. Okay, it's and it. thankfully AARP is a large enough organization with the membership that it has that they can't ignore what AARP has to say. And that's where it's really important that everybody steps up. Absolutely. Okay, and helps out here. Now, people want to become uh, members of AARP, that same website, uh, help them out with there too? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Um, and if you want to just be an advocate, uh, you can sign up to get emails where you can click a button and sign a petition or click a button and uh, send an email to your lawmaker. So if you would like to become an advocate with us, you can also do it at that website. Okay. Um, or if you want to even become one of our volunteer team members. Uh, uh, he was at the Capitol in that video. We have volunteers that go to the Capitol every year um, and uh, make an impact on issues that impact the lives of people over 50. And just to be clear, we're talking to everyone this morning. Everybody. Not, not just old yes. people like Neil Schultz. <laughs> yeah. we're, 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 we're talking yeah. Did you hear that, Neil? <laughs> Did you hear what? that? What? Okay. Okay. We want to make sure everyone realizes this message is for them and they can do something to make a difference. Absolutely. Okay. Right. Well, thank you so much for coming in, and we'll see if we can get this changed and make things a little bit more reasonable across the board for everybody. Good to see you, Schultz. Thanks for having us. All right, buddy. Yeah, thank you for thank being you, man. here.